In this video, we're going to look at what to do when you have a power involved. Now, a power is something like this. It's, a, it's an exponent on the outside of a bracket. So, as per normal, we're going to start off by looking at, we're going to look at it in different parts. So, we're going to look at this 2 first. Now, that 2, is it an exponent? No, it's not. So, you just have to treat this like a normal number. So, that's just going to be 2 to the power of 3. All right, and we know that 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so you can say 8 if you want. Then this 2 and this 3, the exponent rule says that we are going to multiply those. And so you're going to end up with x to the power of 6. But if it was x2 times by x3, well, then the exponent rule said we must plus, And that's where we would have ended up with x to the power of 5. But now we are going to multiply. And so with the y, we're going to end up with y to the power of 9. And just coming back to this 2 to the power of 3, how did we know that it's a 3? Well, because the 2 currently has an exponent of 1. And if you want to stick to the exponent rule, you'll say 1 times by 3, which is 3. Let's try some examples. So with number 1, we're going to start off with the 3 first. Now that 3 currently has an exponent of 1. And so you times the exponents, these exponents over here. And so that's going to be 3 to the power of 2. And then we're going to look at the x, which has an exponent of 2. And that means you're going to end up with x to the power of 4, because you're multiplying those. And then, we've going to, and then we're going to use the y to the power of 4. And so the 4 and the 2 are going to multiply to become y to the power of 8. Then, if you would like, if you know what 3 to the power of 2 is, you can write that as 9. And so that will be your final answer over there. Moving on to number 2. So here we have a minus to the power of 2. Well, what to the power of 2 actually means is it means that you're going to multiply that thing together twice. So a minus times a minus, well that's just going to be a positive. Okay, so that's going to, we're going to have a positive answer. Then this 2 over here currently has an exponent that is what? Well it's a 1, right? We can't see it. So the exponent rule says that we should times these two together, so that's going to give us 2 to the power of 2. Then this x3 is going to multiply with that 2 over there, so that's going to be x to the power of 6. And then this y currently has an exponent of 1, and so you're going to multiply this 1 and this 2 together, and that's going to give us y to the power of 2. And then if you would like, you can change that 2 to the power of 2 to 4, and so the final answer will be 4x6y2. And then moving on to the last one, this 2 has an exponent of 7. So you'd say 7 times 3, so that becomes 2 to the power of 21. And then with the x will be 3 times 3, so that's going to be x to the power of 9. And then it's going to be y, 2 times 3, so it's going to be y to the power of 6. And no one expects you to know what 2 to the power of 21 is out of your head. So just leave it as 2 to the power of 21.